Hi everyone, welcome back to the Rummage Workshop. This week I'm working on a lovely Art Deco dresser. This thing is an amazing shape with lovely lines and detailing. There are a few water rings and one of the wooden casters has fallen off, making this thing really unsteady. All of the Bakelite hardware is in beautiful shape, so I'll be sure to reuse this in the final design. I have a very distinct design in mind, and I think it'll give this thing new life. So let's dive right in. As always, I start by taking off all of the hardware and pulling out all of the drawers just so I know what I'm starting with. Next I'm going to see if there's any way to salvage the detached caster. I've never found a piece with all of the casters intact before. Start by giving all of the casters on the piece a good once over to see if they're all working properly. Next I'm going to try to reattach the bottom caster. I really did not go into this with a lot of hope but it ended up working perfectly. It just popped right back into place and I'm so excited to have four functioning casters. While this thing is down on the ground, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good vacuum and clean up with TSP. Next, I'm gonna get this thing back up on its feet because if the casters are gonna break, I want them to break while they're with me in my workshop and not in somebody else's home. Next, I'm gonna pull out my trusty Makita finishing sander and load it up with 150 grit sandpaper. For my design, I'm gonna paint the entire box a custom color as well as the top two drawers. The bottom three drawers with the vertical detailing is going to be exposed and the bottom three drawers are gonna have two-toned staining. I first start by scuff sanding all the areas that are gonna be painted just to, to rough up the surface a little bit and make it a little better for the paint to adhere to. As I was sanding, I noticed that there were some small chips on the top veneer, and so I'm gonna give this a good clean with some TSP alternative, and then come in with some wood filler to level it all out. So I load my sander up with 150 grit sandpaper and the goal here is just to remove the existing finish and I'm moving in the direction of the wood grain on each panel. Now that the original finish has been removed, it's time to move on to refining the texture. So I load up my sander with 220 grit sandpaper and then give everything a good pass in the direction of the wood grain. I can't believe it, we're done sanding and now it's time to just clean up all of the sanding dust or grime and then we can move on to our final finishes. Now that everything's spick and span, I'm gonna apply a stain to all of the bottom drawers. I'm using Bear's water-based stain in the color Dark Walnut. 
I've been leaning a lot more towards water-based stains lately, and there's two reasons for this. One, it makes it a lot easier to apply a water-based poly afterwards, and two, it doesn't stink. I've had several clients tell me that their pieces smelled in their house for up to a month, and I just really want to avoid that time where they feel like they can't use their piece, or where I have to hold a piece in my workshop for up to a month for that smell to dissipate. So this alleviates that issue altogether. You notice I added a plastic wrap to all of the drawers to avoid getting stain and paint and primer all over my drawers. So I'm coming in with a spray on primer here. Uh, this is just to prevent any tan and bleed through and to give our paint something really, really good to adhere to. Now that that first layer of stain has dried, I'm just marking out four inches from each side of the drawer. And I'm gonna use that mark to tape out a triangle shape on each drawer. And I'm gonna add a couple more layers of stain to give a nice two-toned look. So I've recently started mixing old paints that I have just lying around together to create new colors. And sometimes it works out perfectly. This time I mixed a cup of Restoration Bronze, half cup of Aloe Green, and a quarter cup of Jet Black, all from Melange Paints, and it created this lovely uh, slate blue color, and I'm absolutely in love. Don't get me wrong, they're not all winners, and occasionally they end up looking like garbage, but in this case, it turned out great. I ended up putting on two coats of the paint for the coverage that I wanted, sanding lightly between each coat. And now that everything is painted and the stain is dried, I'm getting all the drawers back in to the dresser to make it a little easier to top coat. I've recently started sending out care instructions and a little touch-up kit with every piece that I send out. Found that little details like this or adding a drawer balm or a drawer liner shows your potential buyers that you've paid attention to the little details and it makes you far more attractive in your marketplace. Let me remind you of what this piece looked like before and then what it looks like now. I had so much fun putting this design together. Thank you guys so much for following along with me and I'll see you back here very soon for another transformation from the Rummage Workshop.